Getting leads on WhatsApp is now easier than ever by creating your own form in a hosted page at Wallink. Form links allow you to ask everything you need from your customers and get all the answers directly on your chat. Today you are going to learn how to create form links for WhatsApp to get valuable insights for your business. Form links are available as a subscription service at Wallink Premium and provide access to other features in our platform. Check our tutorials to subscribe if you haven't yet. Now, open app.wa.link in your browser. Head to the form links section and click on create form link to begin. Start by typing the name of your link. You will see right away if the name you want is available. If you see a sad face emoji, it means that name is taken, but feel free to try different options and variations to get the link you want. Next, enter a title and description that will be displayed on your form's hosted page. Use it to tell users about your business or about the following questions. Continue by selecting the country and entering the WhatsApp phone number that users will reach when they submit their answers. It is optional to add an initial message that will be sent to you alongside users' answers. Even though it's optional, we highly recommend you to add the message so users are more likely to start the conversation and send their answers. Click on Create Form Link to continue. Now you are able to customize the appearance of your hosted page by changing the colors. Let's add some blue to our progress bar and the buttons. You will see this changes on the preview once we add some questions. You can also edit the main info and add your logo to the page, just like this. To add questions, scroll down and click on Add Question. For this tutorial we will add 4 questions, but you can add up to 15 on a single form. Keep it simple though to increase your conversion rate. There are multiple types of questions you can select from. Text, selection, number, dates, and each one has multiple options to customize the input field. Let's start with a simple text input field. We will ask users for their name and give them a hint with the placeholder. Also, we can limit the amount of characters by setting the minimum and maximum value. Click on Add Question and then on Save Changes. You can see your questions data in the list and you can also edit questions like this. Don't forget to click the button to apply your changes. Now we want to know the user's age, so we'll use a number input field and we'll apply a minimum value of 18. In this case, the minimum value means no one can register 17 years old or less. For our third question we'll ask them to select one in three options. Single option input field is the best choice for this. Because the placeholder won't work here, we will add a description to this question. And, don't forget to add the options. Our last question for this tutorial will be a date input. We do not want the users to feel obligated to answer this one so we will uncheck the required checkbox, but we'll still add a hint in the description. Remember to save your changes to publish them. Great! We have our questions now and we are ready to share the form link. You can do so by copying the link or if you have your own website you can embed your form by copying the code you get here then include it in your site. Form links will be an excellent tool for you to get better leads on WhatsApp and get your business to the next level.